let us now take our next set of examples which are based on the product of a series of trigonometric ratios let's look at the first one here so example 15 it says find the value of tan 1 degree into tan 2 degrees into tan 3 degrees and so on up to tan 89 degrees and the given answer options are undefined 0 1 and minus 1 so here we are required to simplify uh, this series of uh, you know product of trigonometric function tan now if you look at the expression here tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3 so on up to tan 89 it can be taken as tan 1 degree into tan 2 degrees into tan 3 degrees and so on up to tan 45 degrees right in between we will have tan 45 degrees then into tan 46 degrees tan 47 degrees and so on up to tan 89 degrees but we know that tan 46 degrees can be expressed as tan of 90 minus 44 degrees right so this is tan of 90 minus 44 and tan of 90 minus 44 degrees is equal to cot 44 degrees so this can be taken as cot 44 degrees likewise tan of 47 degrees can be taken as tan of 90 minus 43 degrees which is equal to cot 43 degrees so this becomes cot 43 degrees and so on up to this tan of 89 degrees can be taken as tan of 90 minus 1 degrees which is cot 1 degree right and obviously before tan 45 degrees here we'll have uh, tan 44 degrees and so on now if you look at the complete series the terms are tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3 so on up to tan 43 tan 44 tan 45 then cot 44 cot 43 cot 42 cot 41 and so on up to cot 1 degree now if we try to position the terms properly we will get tan 1 into cot 1 right then we'll have tan 2 degrees into cot 2 degrees and so on up to tan 3 degrees into cot 3 degrees and so on up to we'll see tan 44 degrees into cot 44 degrees tan 44 degrees into cot 44 degrees and the last term left out term would be tan 45 degrees yes or no so the first term tan 1 and the last term cot 1 have come together likewise tan 2 and the last but one term cot 2 have come together so on up to tan 44 into cot 44 and tan 45 at the end now if you look at it tan 1 into cot 1 will be equal to 1 right cot 1 can be taken as 1 by tan 1 1 by tan 1 into tan 1 will be equal to 1 likewise tan 2 and cot 2 gets cancelled tan 3 and cot 3 also gets cancelled so on up to tan 44 into cot 44 so the only term left out in the series is tan 44 45 degrees and we know what is the ratio trigonometric ratio of tan at 45 degrees right tan 45 is equal to 1 so the answer for this question will be equal to 1 which is option c here right so simply try to represent the terms in such a way that we can cancel out most of them and uh, for the left out term we can find out the value to get the required answer all right and obviously you can cut down the number of steps i have tried to uh, you know give you a detailed explanation here but if you try to solve it by yourself it is obvious that you'll be able to visualize how the terms look like and what terms would get cancelled so without having to put pen on paper you can simply understand that the only term term left out in this expression would be tan 45 and hence the answer would be option c one so let us now look at the next example which is similar to the previous one example 16 it says find the value of cos 1 degrees into cos 2 degrees into cos 3 degrees so on up to cos 179 degrees now from the idea that we have used in the earlier example we can again convert the terms here right for example cos 89 degrees can be taken as sine 1 degree cos 88 degrees can be taken as sine 2 degrees right or we may follow some other type of conversion and see if the terms get cancelled or not but instead of doing all these uh, steps one simple logic that we can use here is from cos 1 degrees to cos 179 degrees we have got a total of 179 terms right cos 1 degree into cos 2 degrees into cos 3 degrees and so on and out of these 179 different terms one of the terms is cos 90 degrees and we very well understand that cos 90 is equal to 0 and since this is a product of all those 179 terms even if one of the terms is 0 the entire series will be equal to 0 hence the answer for this question without having to put pen on paper is option a zero what is the reason here out of all these terms one of the terms is cos 90 and we know that cos 90 is equal to zero so the complete series becomes zero and we can mark the answer as option a 
0. Likewise, in the previous example, if you observe, we have tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3, so on up to tan 89. Let's say, if one more term is given, tan 90 degrees, then what happens? We need not follow all this process here. We can simply say that, since one of the terms is tan 90, tan 90 is not defined, right? It is undefined. So, the complete series can be taken as undefined. The answer in that case would be option A, undefined. But since tan 90 is not given and we have some real value for each of these trigonometric ratios, we will have to follow a process and simplify to arrive at the required answer. So, the one point which you all need to follow while answering questions based on uh, these type of series is to check if there is any term which is equal to 0 so that the complete series becomes 0. If that is not the case, then try to convert the trigonometric ratios into a form which will help us cancel out the various terms so that we can arrive at the final answer without difficulty.